Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. Now I love microscopes as much as the next guy. In fact, one of my first toys I remember as a kid was a good microscope. But this is the one I've been using, this Leica Zoom 2000. It's a, um, uh, a stereo microscope and I've been doing some video with it. You saw a few of my videos where I do some close-up work and I'm going to be doing a lot more. Why? Because I've got a new toy. But anyway, the way I've been doing it in the past was with this old school stereo zoom microscope. And I used this product called a Carson Hookups. Um, I know, kind of a funny name. It's actually pretty solid. I'll put a link in the description for Amazon. But this thing here has four post self-centering to grab an eyepiece, um, just like that. But then it also has a mounting platform that takes iPhones or Samsung, you know, whatever. Um, and you can center the camera on the back. And once you do that, clamp it to any eyepiece, whether it's half a binocular, a telescope, spotting scope, microscope. It works great and gives you all the features then of your camera. Um, but I've moved up in the world. Um, one of the other scopes that I've used for different things, but not on my on this particular YouTube channel, um, is I use a compound stereo microscope. And this particular one uh, has... Uh, it, it, actually, it's not a stereo microscope. It's a single objective, but a dual head because I can attach a video camera to one side like this Carson or something else and then do all my optics and narration on this side. But there was a company that I worked with that provided me this Ansel uh, code reader that also has all kinds of other um, optical tools for diagnostics. Let me cut some power here. Um, and this is one of them. This is the Kaizy, I think that's how you say that, um, microscope. It's a digital microscope. It uses a high resolution. Uh, if I'm shooting video, it's 1080p or it's 16 megapixel resolution um, on this seven inch screen. Uh, but it also has a lot of other features and it's super simple, fast. Um, and as you can see, well, it's dirty, I need to stop working i guess but anyway this particular thing is amazing uh this is a separate base here because this entire top piece comes out and in fact it's got a tripod mount right here if you want to uh, mount it on a completely different arrangement this particular thing here the shaft um you can both vary the distance from what you're observing and then adjust the uh, focus there and let me show you how this works uh, it's also known sometimes in, as a soldering microscope because I could easily uh, insert a soldering head um, into this. Let me focus that up. Drop that in right there. You can see I can... Let me tighten it down. It just has an enormous amount of capabilities. Um, I can zoom that in. There's my soldering head. I can raise this up to give me a larger field of view. And then I can also uh, focus it at this point. See that? So there's my soldering head. So if I was working on a, um, a small project, circuit, lights, etc. It's also great for working on iPhones, um, you know, trying to see without, you know, holding on to a magnifying glass or something as you're making connections. But watch this. So I've got this, I'm going to zoom in here uh, onto this penny. I'll go ahead and move the date over into the kind of the center of you can line up my, we used to call these light pipes, but we, they're just uh, LED lighting that's powered. Notice this is all battery powered, by the way. So I'm gonna zoom in, check that out. So there's 2021, not the best year, but a good one since we lived through it, if you're still here with me. But then it's got a remote control here and this remote control has the ability to zoom in even further or take pictures. So in the back of this is a 32 meg um, or 32 gigabyte, excuse me, uh, uh, micro SD card. And I can record directly to it with both video and, and still imagery. But um, I can click this button and you'll see up in the corner, there's a number. It just turned from 11 to 12. I'll do it again right up here in the corner. Um, and that's taking images. And then I can zoom in. Let's say I want to go even closer to double check something. So that's the date on a penny. Just click here, want to photograph, maybe document it for a customer, whatever you're doing. Um, 
it's a, it's amazing. Um, I'm stunned. This whole thing's um, about one fifth of what my Leica costs. Uh, available on Amazon, and there's a coupon code um, that the company provided me um, because I'm introducing this. It's brand new. In fact, I, I I'm hoping to do more with the company that sells these devices because the diagnostics, the capabilities, is just it's next level. Anyway, this is a super simple device. Let me show you a few other things about it. On the back side, and by the way, it's got kind of this pan tilt arrangement within this um, this stand. And of course, you can bypass the stand. In fact, it's got an accessory uh, extension so I could raise this stand up that much higher, which would give me a much greater workspace um, if I'm doing inspection of larger objects. But on the back here, I've got my USB. This is the uh, output that powers the lights. If I unplug that, the lights just go out. Um, I'm going to show you how to control those. <laughs> it's pretty cool, too. Uh, USB in to charge it. I just use my... I mean, it comes with a charger, but I just use my, my Mac PowerBook char or MacBook charger. Uh, micro B or micro USB is right in here. And then there's an HD... Um, uh, high definition HDMI video out port here so I can direct it direct the signal out of this thing directly into a large screen if I wanted to do some other work or instruction teaching whatever so take a look at this again uh, it has a full suite let me bring it up here so we can actually look at something I'm going to quickly focus this right in I mean it's really fast to use adjust my lights if I want on these uh, kind of gooseneck things. Uh, there's an LED you can see. But if I want to adjust the brightness, I can just slide my finger back and forth on here. You can see that. If you look right here, you'll see a dot of light. That's just showing you, that's this guy here, uh, how much light is actually being projected. So I can adjust that. And then also there's a light inside the um, tube of the microscope and I adjust that brightness right here by just sliding my finger. Now there's a menu button, there's an OK button. The OK button just takes a picture so you can see that that number jumps up there. Menu, I have all kinds of choices as I go into this. And you can see I've got uh, different options um, for adjusting the image, but here's something kind of interesting. Um, I do have my video options and my photo options and a freeze frame option. So what I'm gonna do um, is go down uh, or go up to uh, the photo, go over to my freeze option. Oops. Uh, oops, I mean my shortcut option, sorry. And then go to freeze, click OK. This opens up. Now I'm gonna go down here um, to freeze. And I'm, I've set it up already for a four image. So, um, that's what I want. Now notice the screen now is only one quarter and that's the active screen. But um, what I can do, I'm going to focus that in. Let's say I was doing some work where I wanted to compare high resolution, by the way. Um, if I click OK, it opens up another one. So this was the original. You can see it's still active. This was a captured one. I can do that up to four times. So if I flip this, maybe I should do that so you can see see something differently, so I'll capture that. So I can actually get an entire sequence um, and then keep working through it, uh, getting the, the comparisons. Um, and I can do it with the remote control too from a distance. Oops, I'm not moving anything, so you can't tell. But anyway, this is a pretty slick little system. It's it's obviously designed to work. Um, I mean, for doing work, making money, um, capturing things for customers, or in my case, inspecting it, producing videos, or teaching. Now, this guy here, um, fairly lightweight, long battery life. In fact, I've been using it on the battery side for, gosh, days. Um, the price uh, up down around $200, which is not that much. Now, this uh, same um, vending company also sells a lot of bore scopes, um, uh, really long reach fiber optics. They're using these screens. I, I would be nice if it was a touch screen, you know, going back to the old menus is, is you know, reminiscent of 
good times, but it's it's still, I'm used to the touchscreen interface. I don't think that's very far off. Um, but then the ability to zoom in so fast, so tight, so easily directly onto something and then record it um, in, in both video and, and uh, still imagery in such high resolution. Zing, bring that guy in. I haven't tightened it all the way. I've been playing around, but look at that. That is just amazing. By the way, um, really inspect if you're into coins or something. I mean, this when I I think of selling tools online or or whatever, or, or I could see Catus Maximus getting all over this thing. But basically, it's a um, it gives us an entire new inspection. Well, let's try it with tools. Let's take this up, like this guy here. This is a parrot head, um, kind of neat. I'm going to just use a simple wood screw in order to to kind of balance this to keep it parallel with my screen. I'm going to go back to my menu here um, and I'm going to go down to my uh, shortcut and undo my freeze here. Um, so I'm going to go back to, actually I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do is, is um, go up just to the shortcut and take the, whoops, and take the uh, freeze off. Go back to my full screen that fast. So here's my parrot head. Let me plug in my my lower uh, lights that I quickly unplugged. There we go. Whoops. Pop that up. And oops, just took a picture. Look at that. So I'm going to zing in here. Get my light pipes lined up tie that down here we go look at that i mean just the sharpness and i can move this around to get the quantity of contrast i want and then a lot of times i end up with tools and i'm kind of curious what they are so i'm digging around you know what's this thing if i want a little more space i can move this up and then refocus with a larger field of view. And then maybe work with the contrast to try to see what that is. Maybe I'll even cut off this light here, back that all the way off, and then work with my light pipes to try to figure out what that is. P and C, USA. Uh, if I want to document it, boom, just take another picture. Just like that. Um, if I want to work with the contrast. And then of course focus as sharp as possible. And then always remember. If I want to go after that logo. To be careful here with the magnification. Figure out where my glare is coming from. Probably my studio light here. Let me knock that off. Maybe that's not it. Anyway, this is amazing. Um, as I play around with this guy, just the sharpness. Look at that. So anyway, this is the, the Kyzee or K-Z-Y-E-E -E, uh, microscope. This digital microscope um, is going to be in a lot of my videos. It just gives me a, a way to present content and to inspect things at a level just that was darn near impossible without using a little microscope or a little magnifying glass or something else, and I want to be able to share it with you. So, with that, there's my Kaizy micro digital microscope. There's a link below. There's a coupon code. If you're interested in this kind of technology, here it is. It's arrived. With that, Doc out.